In this lesson, we will demonstrate how to use events to handle extension development scenarios. Tables, form data sources, form controls, and other element types that support extension events list the available events and delegates under an events collection node in the designer. So you can see this here in this screenshot. We have a table open and there is an events node where we can see all of the events for a table. So in this example, we're looking at a table extension that shows the events that are defined by the framework and the delegate methods that are defined by application developers. Events are exposed on the designer on different element and sub-element types. So again, like table events, form events, form data source events, form control events, and others. Let's take a further look at framework events. Events are implemented as multicast delegates, which means that there are more, that more than one event handler can be subscribed to any particular event. Events are broadcast. There's no sequencing of calls to event handlers. Event handlers also execute within the transaction scope of the base methods. And lastly, events are raised as preceding and succeeding operators around the base methods. This means that you have the opportunity to run code before a base method is called and after it's completed. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 introduced XPP events, which are also available in this release and can be subscribed to your extensions. There are three types of events. Here we have standard events, delegates, and as well as pre and post events. The following are a series of standard events and code suggestions for the process. Form data source from X form run, get form run from data source, and get form run from form control. In this demonstration, we are going to take a look at the standard events um, for forms and event handlers in Visual Studio for developing in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. So I have my event handler open, my event handlers class, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to navigate over to my FM vehicle extension form. And I'm just gonna go ahead and double click it to open it. Next one I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to go over to my events over here in the designer, and I'm going to select the on initialized event here. I'm going to right click it, and I will copy the event handler, and then I can go ahead and paste that code into my class. So I'll go back over to my class, and then I can go ahead and paste that code that I copied over from the form event handler, and we can see that it is my initialized, and then um, this is for the FM vehicle form. I can then paste, um, put some code in here. We do have some code that uh, we've already uh, created here. So we have the FM vehicle, the sender data source, and then we would add um, any other operations down below where we can see this commented outline. Now let's go back to our form extension. We'll take a look at the on written event. So we'll go back to that extension and what we'll go ahead and do is we are going to go to our data sources first and select an event um, from here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out my events and I'm going to go to my data sources. I'm going to go ahead and select FM vehicle and here we can also see the events for this FM vehicle table. So I'll go ahead and expand my events and I'm going to go ahead and select on written and I can go ahead and right click and copy that uh, method and then I would go ahead and go back into my um, class here and we can take a look at this as well. So we can see here that this is for the FM vehicle um, and we can see here um, that it is from our data source and we can see that it is for the on written and then of course you can um, add your code as needed um, down below our method. And lastly, we'll take a look at the for, from run from form control. So I still have this class open. 
I'm going to go ahead and go back to my FM vehicle extension form. I'm going to go over to the right to my navigation pane or the application bar. I'm going to expand that. I'm going to then go to this form button control one here, which is a button group. I am then going to go to show versions and then we're going to view the events here and I'm going to go ahead and select the on clicked. We can right click and copy the event handler method. And then I can go ahead and then paste that into my code as well. And then of course we can see that that we have added that form control event handler um, for this on clicked part of the form. And then of course we can go ahead and start developing and adding our code down below as well. In this demonstration, we're going to review eventing for a table that we extend. So I have my project open and we're going to quickly um, extend a table. So I'm gonna go over to the application explorer and I'm actually gonna switch over to my model view. So I'm gonna right click on the AOT node. And we're gonna go to the model view and I want to extend a table that is within the fleet management model. So I'm gonna go to my tables and where I'll extend tables. And I am going to just grab a table here that we want to extend. Um, so if I scroll down, we can see we have FM rental. I'm gonna do FM vehicle. So to do this, I'm gonna right click and I'm going to create an extension. What that does is it now basically creates an extension over my solution called fmvehicle.extension. So now I can then start um, extending this table if I needed to maybe add a field. Um, in this case, what we're going to do is we're gonna take a look at the events and we're then gonna copy the event handler method um, and create a new class for this handler that we're going to um, set up. So I'll go ahead and double click on my FM vehicle extension to open it in the designer. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna take a look at our events node here, and we can see all of the events um, that the table exposes, and this includes events that are defined by the framework and delegate methods that are defined by application developers. It is important to note that different framework events are exposed on the designers of many different types of elements and sub elements. So like table events, form events, data source of form data source events and form control events. So I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these. I'm gonna look for on validated right. And you can see that this is uh, in alphabetical order. So here we have on validated right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on this and this is where i can copy the event handler method so basically this will copy the event handler method signature to my clipboard so now let's go ahead and create a new class in our project so i'm going to right click on the project we'll go to add new item we'll go to code and i'm going to create a new class and i'm going to call this fm vehicle event handlers and let me fix this and I'll go ahead and click add to add the class so now what I can go ahead and do is I can then paste my code into the event handler method or into the um, class that I just created so we're pasting the event handler method um, into the class And as you can see here, there's a summary, there's some um, commented outlines, and then we can see our data event handler for the validated write event type. And then here we have our public static void uh, method down below here. I'll then go ahead and just paste some code in that we've written um, down below here in the class. And here we can see that we are we have an if statement here and we're saying if the number of cylinders is greater than eight, uh, we have a result where we have an invalid number of cylinders that will um, be noted. Then of course, I can go ahead and perform a save and build. 